Okay, so today we're going to be looking at a Dell Inspiron 3475. This is an all-in-one uh, desktop computer, and we're going to be doing a disassembly today. So if you have this uh, machine, uh, make sure the first thing you do is unplug it naturally, um, and uh, then put it onto a surface where the glasses uh, can't be damaged. So we have a piece of styrofoam here protecting the screen. Next thing you want to do is uh, flip it over so the screen's you know facing down, and um, you can push the uh, hinge down so that you can see access to this little notch right in here. And we're going to use a pry tool, so we have, uh, or you know, pretty much anything will work. If you have like a credit card or a guitar pick, will also work. Um, you're just going to want to stick your pry tool uh, down in there and pry up, and you should be able to remove this uh, plastic piece right here. Next thing you're going to want to have to do is the to re remove the actual hinge itself. So to do that, we have four screws. We have uh, one or two on each side here. So I will remove those now. And these are in there quite tight. So you're going to want to make sure you have the correct screwdriver for that. And use this one right here. And these four screws are all the same size, so um, you don't have to worry about which one. And now that those are removed, you can take the hinge completely off, lift it up um, in this angle, and you should be able to pull it right out. And you can set that off to the side. Now make sure that there's nothing plugged into the USB ports that can interfere with being able to remove the back plastic. So make sure nothing's plugged in. Um, in this case we have a little USB sender here, so we'll remove that. And now you're going to want to take uh, your pry tool or a guitar pick or whatever you have, and you're going to want to separate the two back pieces. And you can kind of lift up and see that it's coming off. And to unlatch it, since the latches are on the sides, we have to flip it over. And you can use our pry tool like this and work your way around the machine trying to separate some of those clips. You'll hear them start to detach as you work your way around the machine. So, back over. And you can see it's starting to come up. Okay. And it might give you a little bit of trouble trying to get it off, but eventually it will, the whole thing will just pop right off like that. So now you have access to the drive, the motherboard, which is underneath the shield, uh, which also um, has the memory on it and the fan. So the first thing we'll do is remove the hard drive, remove that, and that's held in with a single screw here. Should slide right out like so, and this is in its own little drive caddy. So we'll set that off to the side, and now we have this shield covering the motherboard. So to take that out, we're going to remove these screws that are pointed to by all these arrows here. Take that out. This screw out. And we have two more. should be able to, oops, there is one more down here. And now we should be able to get this shield off. Like so. Lift that up. And this shield comes off. And then here we have the very small uh, motherboard. 
see the heat sinks right here, uh, the memory if you need to replace it, and the uh, BIOS battery. And we have connections for the backlight of the LCD panel, the actual LCD itself. Um, we have the camera, the speakers, the SD card reader, and um, the fan, of course. And the microphone? Yes, the microphone. So that's pretty much it on how to disassemble the Dell uh, Inspiron uh, 3475 all-in-one. And uh, if this helped you at all, feel free to leave a like. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And of course, subscribe to see our videos in the future.